And we're back again! Hello! We're, we're at Kevin Conroy. Oh, he's returned. <laughs> we never leave, we just stay here. Okay, next story. A Marvel has announced a new... Well, they announced this on Fresh Ink, which I watch because I love Attack of the Show, that they're doing this five-issue weekly series called Heralds, which focuses on most of the Marvel superheroines. So, basically, this is Marvel... They've been pushing feminism lately. Uh, I think that's because they realize, oh, wait, we are really shitty with our female characters. We have been to shoot women all the time. We probably need to fix that. <laughs> so, we're going to have, have girl comics. These, we have none of these chicks with series, and we cancel them, and we don't really treat them <laughs> at all with any kind of respect. Yeah, but this is the other thing. Like, they're doing this, and right now there's a three-issue thing called Girl Comics coming out. Uh-huh. Which is all female creators. Um, uh, I've... Let me tell you something. Um, uh, Lindsay and I saw that on the, on the shelf uh, the other day, mm -hmm. and I think she was rather annoyed with it. Really? Uh, because she liked the idea of an anthology miniseries with uh, female creators, mm -hmm. but she hated the fact that it was called Girl Comics. And, uh, let's see, it, uh, I don't know, it, Marvel's attitude towards uh, women can sometimes be a little condescending. I don't, and sometimes it doesn't seem like it's on purpose, it just, you know, you know, girl comics, that's real nice. But, uh, and also, uh, they did a, uh, uh, what was it, Sense and Sensibility, or, uh, they did some Jane Austen book or something like that. Mm -hmm. And they, uh... They released a hardcover, and they made it look like a woman's magazine. I was wondering why that was on the Marvel previews. <laughs> yeah, I asked a couple of women, it's like, do you, what do you think of that? And they seemed kind of annoyed and insulted by it. Yeah. But this has She-Hulk in it, and, you know, I'm there, I'll read it. Well, uh, well, the main, the main story is apparently one of Galactus's heralds sacrificed her life years ago, and a portion of her spirit lives on. Yay! And... It, you know, and this will involve many characters like Emma Frost, woohoo, Hellcat, Agent Brand, who we all know. No, we don't. Uh, <laughs> I think she's in Sword. She's in Sword, which was canceled. Okay, okay. Uh, she Hulk. Uh, a new character named Monica Rambo. <laughs> Monica Rambo. She's like a reporter or something. And the Valkyrie. Okay. And it's going to be five issues. It's going to be weekly because apparently people are getting sick of these events for some reason. Mm -hmm. And you know, watch it if you want. I'll read it. Who's who's doing it again? Oh, the right. I, I didn't mention that. It's gonna be written by Catherine Eminen, who did uh, she 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 did a miniseries with uh, a Hellcat miniseries, and she's done stuff on the Runaways. And the art's gonna be by and let's see how bad I am pronunciation, folks. <laughs> Tucci Tonchi. I don't know. <laughs> I'll put the links in the sidebar, and you can read it and decide. No, no, the... that's that's how his name is pronounced. Tucci, Tony. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Watch his face. Come over here. We need you to do art. <laughs> we can't find John Romita Jr. right now. You're in. <laughs> When's it coming out? Uh, nice. let's see. I think it's in May. Or let's see one moment here. Burr, burr, burr. Oh, it starts in June. Okay. I actually, I'm. I think I want to check that out because you know what. She-Hulk's book got canceled, so they could do whatever the fuck they're doing in the fall of the Hulks. Yeah. And she's been kind of, sort of, maybe dead. Didn't they? No, they canceled She-Hulk like a year before they were doing the fall of the Hulks. Yeah, that's because they knew what they were doing, so... Like, yeah. oh, we're going to do all this crap, so we got to cancel the Hulk book. Uh, yeah. Which pissed me off, because I was enjoying Peter David's run. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I guess she's kind of back. She's got a 30th, 30th anniversary soon, too. No, they, they, they've they been covering that all week. Like, they did that whole week of that on Marvel.com, mm -hmm. yeah. So, next one. All right, oh, that's me. All right. Confirmed. Or is it? <laughs> Smallville on for a 10th season. Yes, 10 seasons of Smallville. Um, let's see. Long a discussion across fan circles, the Superman-based drama. Oh, it's based on Superman? <laughs> I kept, ge I kept guessing Dr. Manhattan, but I don't know oh, why. Man. I <laughs> I kept watching this going, this is a horrible origin for Rorschach. Oh, man. He never lived in Kansas. What the hell's crop tonight? 
This has nothing to do with Elton John. <laughs> but um, let's see. Yeah, the Superman-based drama Smallville uh, will return for a 10th season, uh, representative of the CW, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Tom Welling. Uh, I don't know. I don't see anything. Really it's much. coming back for a 10th season. You know, mm-hmm. just in case you people, I'm guessing it's because, and this is just me, and they say this earlier, the Absolute Justice episode, which I watched, yeah. would, uh, basically brought in a lot of viewers. Mm-hmm. So they're like, oh, we'll do more. Okay, here's the thing, though. If you do that, people expect it to be just as good as this episode. <laughs> There's the classic flaw, flaw in something. They, if they see something good, they expect it to stay that way, and you people haven't been doing that good for the last few years on that. Maybe this season he'll put away his Matrix outfit and actually dress as Superman. No, he'll meet Morpheus next season. Oh, hey, there you go. Lawrence Fishburne? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that was my joke. No, actually, that was my joke when, uh, I, in, when I was watching Absolute Justice. You see him come in the Neo outfit, and then John Jones comes, and he's like, oh, it's, it's Morpheus. <laughs> he's a Martian? <laughs> I can't, yeah, I don't know. I, I just I, I just can't get into that show. I, I've... I uh, I check it out every so often. I've when... seen episodes that like I I've seen it here and there, and there are times where it entertains me. Mm-hmm. And there are times where I realized, why isn't my remote working? <laughs> smash, smash, smash! Mom, do we have batteries? I don't know. I would have actually watched Absolute Justice, but I actually oh, uh, what was I doing? It was uh, I was oh. I, I, you were helping. You were helping charity organizations do something <laughs> awesome. Just say that. I was, I was helping send food to Haiti. So <laughs> I was. I was, right. I was saving endangered monkeys. I was doing a lot that day. <laughs> I was. I was going through a fight with a bear. I needed to weaken him for Eric. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Make sure you put that in his channel, folks. Remember. <laughs> And uh, that's kind of it. Uh, just it doesn't really see anything different. Uh, I hope maybe we'll see more of uh, uh, Pam Greer as Amanda Waller. Yeah, uh, I, you know, for because I saw her in that Absolute Justice, like came out of nowhere, like, oh, okay, that's weird. She, it was nice. Yeah, and uh, maybe we'll see actual superheroes more. And there's rumors that Rosenbaum might come back. Yeah, that would be nice. that would be nice. I like that actor. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. Maybe this, maybe this should be the last season. CW, listen to this man. <laughs> <laughs> Let this be the last season and spin it off into some show, either a Superman series. Um, That's suicide. Why would they do that? Yeah, just rename the this show. This show has nothing to do with Superman. <laughs> what are you talking about? Our fans won't accept that. Oh. Uh, or, you know, a Justice, uh, Justice Society or a Green Arrow show. I would watch a Green Arrow show. Yeah, we better move on to the next one because we're eight yeah. minutes in. Oh, okay, damn. So, they confirmed that Green Lantern will be seen in 3D! Ow, ooh, ow, ooh, ow, what? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> sounded like you are coming at me there. <laughs> I was... And the movie will also take place in space! God, ugh. Oh. Man, scare the crap out of everyone tonight. Uh, <laughs> shit out of me. So you know, for all you people who want to see Ryan Reynolds in 3D, oh yeah, I know. You get your wish. <laughs> Watch Ryan Reynolds fight a giant alien in 3D. I'm pretty sure we all wanted that. I know. I can't wait to see his snide comments in 3D. Yes. I'm just gonna be in watching the movie and just go. It's coming right at us, and it's just like something stupid, like a coffee mug. <laughs> and I won't, and I'll be yelling it out loud. Well, you should do what Lloyd Bridges did in uh, Airplane and just jump out of your seat and run into the wall and <laughs> just disturb everybody. Oh, no, I'll, keep, I'll keep yelling out, where's Batman? I'll keep yelling out, oh, where'd he find the joke? <laughs> I know there will be some a-hole doing that, because there was an a-hole when I was watching Dark Knight who kept yeah. yelling out, Where's Spider-Man? Oh, that's funny. Well, if you do that, promise me you'll bring, uh, you'll wear a helmet. <laughs> I'll, I'll just throw stuff at the guy. And protective glasses, like, oh! Stop throwing things at me, I'm only stating the truth! <laughs> oh my god, outer space! <laughs> oh, oh. 
There's a lot of yelling in this episode this week. <laughs> well, that's all we have to say. It's going to be in 3D. You all know. You all yeah. got learned. The end. <laughs> Goodbye. I'd like to thank my guest, the real Manos. Uh, thank you. Thank you for having me. It was fun. Yes, and now we can free Eric. Because uh, we, we forgot to mention, he's finding the bear in a cage that we put him in. Yes, Sue, you have to... Uh, <laughs> we have to feed have to them. In. We have to feed them. <laughs> because apparently the bear really thinks Eric looks like chicken. Okay, bye, guys.